Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major help. With career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. Hi, I'm Rob Guswaller. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that.
CCM County College of Morris Athletics are on. CCM Baseball. CCM Volleyball. CCM Basketball. Oh yeah, it's on. CCM's Women's Soccer. It's on. Nine Athletics Programs. CCM Softball. It's on. CCM Golf. It's on. Esports? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. CCF County College of Morris. Go Titans! Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your goal. We reset and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Kalani in the end zone. It is caught! Charge. Good for the pass. Here's a shot. Right in front. Score! And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull a check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Ah!
That's awesome. That right there, folks, is awesome. The music had cut out, so sure, let's just do it ourselves. And a USA chant goes up right after it. Elmer Park comes in a 60-52 winner over Westwood in the first round. They are the seventh seed, while Pequannock a 23-point win over Pompton Lakes in that first round of action for Coach Jeff DeBell, who just won his 300th game last week. On the other end, it's Stephen Hergit. The former Elmwood Park player and assistant coach went to Colonia for a few years and then came back here to his hometown, his alma mater of Elmwood Park, to take over for Kevin Tui. 17 and 7 in his first season with the Crusaders. Sly Robinson, Steve Peloso, Jim Stockel the third, the officiating crew for tonight's game. This place is going to be electric tonight. Sly Robinson to toss the ball up. And we are underway. And right off the bat, it's his own defense here for Pequannock. Now let's go EP chant going on on one side. A defense chant going up from the home crowd. Defense, 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 defense. All worked around the perimeter right now. On it to number one of Assam Asaf. Up top the five is Alex Pikinich. Now controlling the ball, David Forzani, number 14. Forzani on the dribble drive, then kicks down into the wing. Now entry pass inside is rejected resoundingly by Ben Reichert, number 12, six foot ten center. There's a jumper that's partially deflected as well, and both teams defending well to start this game. Into the front court, stolen, bounced around a little bit, and gathered by Finn Powers, number 10. Flashes that out to the left wing side. 23 is Carson Kaluka. Up top controlling, Ethan Sutherland, number five. On to the wing once more. The dribble here for Kuluko. That's a three, it's good. So Kaluka's got the first three points of the game. It's three nothing in favor of Pequannock. Thinking about it and then opting against it was Forzani. Here's the pitch, picnic, I should say. He's got it again. Thinks. Defense is up tight right now. No reset. Coach Hergit calls out of play. Number three is Dwayne Carter. And it's almost like a visiting quarterback trying to call out a play there for Asam Asaf, who's got the ball now. Right handed dribble. Starts to go down the lane, spin in the lane, up and no good. Again, the challenge inside by Riker. Now to flash out in the other direction. Drive to the goal is going to be blocked, but a foul down low. The first foul of the game comes with 5.40 to go in the first quarter. They had the capacity in here at 500. The foul's on number five. Alex Picknick is first. And the first free throw is short from Kaluka. Second one coming is also no good. And eventually the rebound corral by Asaf into the front court. Makes that. There's a drive to the rim. That's no good. A little bit too strong with Carter. And now pulled down by Rigolosa. That's a long three, it's off the mark, and everybody will sit back down for a moment. Spin by a soft. A lot of active hands there, and we'll get ourselves a jump ball. 5.18 to go, first quarter.
Defense chant going up again. Here's Reichert. The ball flashed down low. Tough shot, no good. And the rebound to Russ Skrinnick. Elmer Park into the front court. Now up top is Soft once more. Right now everything up top. Uh, aggressive defense by Pequonic. The 2-3 three, three zone stretching out in a bit. With it now, Pekinich. Drive a soft one-hander with the left, no good. Rebound battled for and controlled by the Panthers. Front court race through the lane and good for the number 10 of Finn Powers. Timeout, Elmwood Park. 4.20 to go, first quarter. And it's a 5 nothing lead for Pequonic. This is an electric atmosphere here tonight. But usually when you get to the state tournament, that's what's going to happen. It is loud and boisterous in here at Pequonic High School. So off this timeout, everything will be brought in by the Crusaders. The Cello Group is thrilled to support Pequonic Golden Panther, the Pequonic Golden Panthers tonight, I should say. The Cello Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. Learn more at cellogroup.com. Cello, I should say. Defense chant going up again, and they've been very, very... Dribble drive for Pikinich. He's rejected again by Riker. There's a race out the other way. Corner three is good. Finn Powers has got five. It's an eight nothing run to start for Pequonic. And right now it's just been all about the defensive effort by Pequonic. On the wing is off. Now top of the key. Holds on. Moves to the right wing side. It's a zone defense here, but when you got the big man there, there's a long three and a foul's going to be called on the floor. And it's going to go against, I believe, Elmwood Park. Yeah. On the clear out is picking it, and it's his second, if that's the case. Nope, it's against the 35 of Russ Skrinnick. His burst. Just two fouls, both against the Crusaders. Up top now, Reichert. Right, well, on the right side of the lane, there's another foul. It's going to be a reach in, and that's going to be against picking it. And that'll be his second. Team's third. And at the line, nope, it's going to be an inbound. There's a corner jumper. That's off the mark. Rebound on the back door. Wide open was Kaluko. He's got five. It's a 10-0 start for Pequonic. Hard drive to the lane and another rejection. Reichert is throwing a block party right now. Corner three, no good. And getting the rebound was picking its full uh, three quarters court press, and that's going to be a turnover. And then that deflected out of bounds. And Pequonic right now creating all sorts of problems for Elmer Park. Inside off the inbounds, no good. A rebound put back home by Reichert. Defense! 
12 nothing the score. And right now it's been all Pequonic. 153 opening quarter. Three ball on the way from Asaf. Short rebound collected. Jumping over his teammate Rigoloso. Into the front court. And he's fouled on the play. With a minute 41 to go in the quarter. Oh, it's an offensive foul against Rigoloso. His burst. Asaf has got the ball now. Gives corner, uh, three on the way. Too strong, rebound collected by Reichert. Another three on the way. That's too uh, long. And the Crusaders rebound out to almost stolen. Nice dribble behind the back up and no good. Going through the lane for Carter. And the Crusaders just can't buy a bucket here in this first quarter. They've had looks, just a lot of rejections. And then the long shot's not dropping. Rattled out at the other end. The pace has been excellent in this first quarter. Trying to get through, kick out. And then Skrinnick just pulls it down. Jumper, banks home. And finally, the first points on the board. It goes to Porzani. 30 seconds to go, it's 12-2. On it now is Ringo So. Pull back out, Sutherland the dribble, 10 to go in this first quarter. The chronicle hole for the last shot. Inside, fade away, banked home. And the first quarter comes to an end. Big quarter for Perquanic. They lead 14 to two after one here on Morris Sussex Sports. Back here, second quarter about to begin. And it has been, right now, all Pequonic up 14 to two. That's really been the defense that has been the case. Dribble drive through the lane, no good again. And then a foul is going to be called on the play. Dwayne Carter's gotten through. He just hasn't been able to finish. And that'll be the fourth foul against the Crusaders here in half number one. Foul goes against Carter, his first. Entry pass inside, not able to hold on to it was Kaluka and turnover by the Panthers. Kwanek in that 76-53 win against Pompton Lakes. 
not as much control in the first quarter. They took over in the second and they never looked back. In that game, Oops, that's a drive, no good. The rebound battled for. Good job that time by Skrinnik to try to win it. Instead, it goes over. Tomaskovic won it, and then the layup at the other end by Powers. 16 to two in favor of Pequonic. Four players in double fingers for, for Pequonic in that last game, led by Finn Powers, 17. Rigolioso had 16, as did Kalukio in that game. And Reichert had 13. He was a monster. In, he had three blocks, but he's had more in the first quarter in this game. I'm going to park that off to a slow start in their first game against Westwood. Had to come from behind at home, but did so. Winning by a score of 60 to 52. Drive down the lane and a kick out. Picking cross court pass. Driving again, no good. The rebound put, no good. A third effort scrapped for it. A foul is going to be called. Twice down low, Dwayne Carter missed. But Tomasovic is going to get the foul. It's his first. And they're going to say it's a side out, no shots. Even Hergen objecting. Long pass intercepted. Race into the front court. Sutherland lays it up and in. Eighteen to two in favor of Pequonic. 5.45 to go, first half. Jumper from the foul line is good that time for Forzani. He's got all four points for the Crusaders, 18 to four. In the corner with it now is Powers, then drives. Left elbow, nope, he traveled. And I'll bring it the other way. Substitution coming in. Ben Reichert back into the game. That's a, that's a new chant going on there. Drive, nice dish off down low and the layup for Pickenix. And that's going to get a timeout going on the Panthers side. 32nd timeout with 5.07 to go here in the first half. Gives us a chance to remind you About the wrap-up report. Commentary continues on the wrap-up report. Thursday nights at 6 p.m. right here on Mars Sussex Sports. Highlights from the previous week of Mars Sussex Sports broadcasts, which will include tonight's game. Last week's reviews, next week's previews, chats with celebrities that represent your teams. All in the Mars Sussex Sports wrap-up report. Thursday nights at 6 p.m. right here on Mars Sussex Sports. Again, I want to thank the CeeLo Group. They're thrilled to support the Aquatic Golden Panthers tonight. They provide engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. Learn more at celogroup.com. And there uh, we are talking. We have got a packed house here tonight. On it now, the 10 of Bin Powers. There's a jumper from the elbow extended. No good rebound. Challenge and it goes off the backboard and it was tipped. So they're going to say it was blocked to the top to the bracketing and it'll stay aquatic basketball 18 to 6 with 449 to go in the first half. And another timeout's been called by Pequonic, a 30 second timeout for 449. And an 18 to 6 game. And then, I'll say this, 
The uh, Crusaders are not going to go away without a fight. They scored the last four points, which kind of brought the uh, brought the timeouts, and then that second one off the inbounds. Was talking to Coach Hergert before the game. He was saying his team's been uh, really picking up their form in the last few weeks. Set them up well for the tournament here. Corner, and now up top with this is Finn Powers. Powers with the drive and pulls back out, three-point line. Swung on over for Enrigoloso. Everything being worked around by right now and new play being called in. The flash down low was open with Sutherland, but the pass wasn't given. Driving through, that's rejected. Ryan Skrinnick. Between Skrinnick and Reichert, it's been a block party here. Quick inbounds and nobody was ready for it and it's a turnover. Looking around was Ben Reichert and the inbounds went right off his chest. He wasn't ready for the pass and so a turnover. Fake the three and pulling it down to Saf. And then up top now for Pikinich. On to the corner for Zani. Down low Pikinich. Floats one up, no good. The rebound battled for and foul is going to be called. And then that's going to be the third against Pikinich. Pikinich will stay in the game. Imagine one more and Coach Hergen might want to pull him. Flash down low from Riker. And a reverse layup, no good, but a foul. It's going to go against a soft this time. Sixth foul on the Crusaders in this first half. Just two against Pequonic. But it will send David Ringoloso to the foul line. First free throw is up and good. And Ringoloso will have one more. Second free throw good as well. He hits them both 20 to 6 the score with three and a half to go here in this first half. Left wing pass, uh, Pikinich is on it. Underhand toss to Asaf, more like a sidearm. Asaf has it and swings it on out. Thinking about it for Zani, put inside. That shot no good for Asaf. Again, the presence of Ben Riker down low really has been the story in this first half. That shot off the mark. And the Crusaders get the rebound. Long outlet pass and Pikinich lays it up and in. He's got four. Crusaders down 20 to eight. 2.47 to go, first half. Reichert's got it. Post entry, turnaround jumper to the right side of the rim, no good. And the Crusaders back out again. They'll run it forward. Trying to go forward, Forzani. It's nearly turned over, but a good job by Forzani to regain. Cross court pass intercepted. Here's a long outlet down and a good job defensively, but the rebound put back home by Ringoloso. He's got six, it's 22 to eight. Two ten to go, first half. Worked around up top to 23 there's Javel Watson. Watson open on the wing, but instead that's a layup in. That's a tough shot that time. 22 to 10. Couldn't see. We had a few fans standing right in front of us, so couldn't quite catch it. Go to the monitor in time. The drive and a foul. 
And there will be free throws coming. If you can only see it, we are surrounded by fans here in our corner. First free throw is off no good. One more for Sutherland. The foul, by the way, went against number 14, David Vorzani, his first. And the park is over the limit. Second free throw is good for Sutherland. That's his third point of the game, 23 to 10. Picking it over the timeline. The give now to Watson. Near side for Forzani. Up top, he gets the return. Long three. Rolls out. They got every part of the rim but in, and Riker another rebound. Into the front court, the hold, the kick back. Step through, up and no good. Rebound long and collected by Asaf. Asaf drives the lane, floater, and a whistle before everything. I think we had a foul on the play. Yep, it was against Finn Powers, his first. Just a third against the Golden Panthers here in half number one. That's another turnover. And racing out ahead is Kaluko. Laid up no good. Rebound partially blocked. And this will go out of bounds and will stay Panther basketball. 51.7 seconds to go in this first half. Capacity crowd, 500 on hand here at Pequannock High School. Panthers lead by 13. And it's been a defensive battle. Settling things down, Rigoloso. Step back, then drives again. Active hands, the layup, no good. Everybody battles for the rebound. Tipped right back to Rigoloso, lays it in. And the shoe came off. And Coach Hurd. He's uh, a little upset about something over there. Picking it in the front court, 25 to 10. And Elma Park looks like they'll hold for the final shot of the first half. Fake corner three, banked home! Forzani with the corner three. That long one nearly took out speaker up top. Our halftime score, 25-13. Pequannock leads Elmwood Park. You're watching the North 1 Section 2 quarterfinals right here on Mari Sussex Sports.
Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major help. My career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here, the demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Rich Latman, realtor with Keeneland Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Whether you are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that.
at CCM County College of Morris, athletics are on. CCM baseball. CCM volleyball. CCM basketball. Oh yeah, it's on. CCM's women's soccer, it's on. Nine athletics programs. CCM softball, it's on. CCM golf, it's on. Esports, oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. CCM County College of Morris, go Titans. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. them we're here for you get back the life you love I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years from the big banks where I thought I could get the best most competitive rate to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service and I never thought I could have it both until I met family first family first gave me the most competitive rates in the market back here at Pequannock High School as we get ready to start half number two 25-13, the Golden Panthers lead the Crusaders. Brett Luthner here in Pequannock. First half scoring. David Regaloso's got eight points. Finn Powers has seven. Carson coluco has got five. Ethan Sutherland, three. Ben Reichert, two. That is the Pequannock side of things. On Elwood Park side, David Forzani's got seven. He hit that three late in the first half. Four for Alex Pickenix. And two for Osama Soft. Dwayne Carter's had plenty of drives down the lane. He has not been able to convert yet. And I say yet because you have a funny feeling and he might be able to do so. We'll see what adjustments are made here in half number two. And I know my friends would like to, me to say this in honor of my friend Bill Raftery. The Crusaders go man to man in half number two. And a drive inside. Backing in and bouncing it home is Rigoloso. He's got 10. With it now is Pikinich. Up top for Carter. 27-13 the score. Nice drive to the lane for Asaf on the baseline for two. 27-15. Aggressive defense that time by Skrinnick. Skrinnick has the ability to at least neutralize offensively Ben Riker. That's home. A three ball for Sutherland. He's got six now. 30 to 15 to score. Top now and swing out. That's a three on the way. Picking it too strong. Rebound collected for Zani. Bounces it up and in. That was a big response there 
Forzani hits 30 to 17. It's not a, st- a stage in a game where you can, if you can respond with baskets, one stop, and the next thing you know, you build a little something. Elma Park still sticking around a bit. Down 13, though. That shot no good. Rebound inside Reichert, and then turns it over. Race into the front court. Forzani spin to the rim. No good. And picked up there for the put back. Another one no good. Still battled for. Crusaders, a soft for three. Got it. Asaf has got seven. It's now a 30 to 20 game. Drive by Sutherland, pull up in the lane, banks it home. Uh, rattled it, I should say. He's got eight, 32, 20. Given now to Dwayne Carter. On the wing, corner three is too long. The rebound collected there by the number four of David Ringoloso. And a whistle and traveling call. Dribble into the front court for Carter once more. Now on off for Pikinich, who's got three fouls. He's the only one in foul trouble in this one. Pikinich once more. Step back. Given. Carter goes to the corner with it. Gets the return pass. Now wants to drive right at the big fella. It'll go out of bounds and stay. Nope, it'll go to Pequonic. That time, Carter went right at the body. Of Riker, but again, it's so difficult. Riker at 6'10 to try to get him to commit a foul when he's going to block you. Off the miss, double spin by Asaf into the front court. Drives the lane with a right hand, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. That'll be the first team foul of the second half, and he'll go against Paquanic. Goes against Ben Riker, it's his first. So some soft to the line to shoot a pair. First free throw rattles out, no good. We'll get one more. Second free throw, rattles out as well. Asaf misses both, but inside with the rebound and then getting blocked that time with Skrinnick. Ball goes out of bounds to the Panthers. Asaf comes into this game averaging 17.6 a game. 17.6 points per game, that is. It's a long pass inside and up for two. Here's Reichert. He's got four. The lead back to 14 for the Panthers. Who raced out to that 14-2 first quarter start. And it's been pretty much a stalemate since. Corner three. Pickenich too strong. Got the glass more than anything. And now the Panthers will jog it on up to the front court. Dribble drive, stop at the line. Oh, that's a tough jumper. Kaluko has got seven. It's a 6-0 run for the Panthers. They'll stretch the lean back to 16. With it now, he's picking it. A soft picking it once more. Drive, a soft, tough layup, but he's fouled. I might book, that might go against Reinkert. It'll be his second. And it'll send us off back to the foul line. Two free throws for Asam Asaf, and the crowd will get loud for it. First free throw is short.
And there's the second one. Up and good. So Asaf hits one out of two. Breaks the little hex on the rim there, and we have ourselves a timeout, I believe. 3.20 to go here in this. We'll take a quick timeout, 36-21 to score. Back here, oh, sorry, okay, not <laughs> back here, 320 to go, third quarter. 36-21. In favor of Piquanic. A 6 1 run by Piquanic here in this third quarter. And this has been just an absolutely tremendous atmosphere here tonight. Inbound here for Piquanic. Try to get themselves in a little bit closer. Or Elwood Parker should say, trying to get themselves a little bit closer. Hesitation drive down the lane, a layup, no good, but a foul's going to go against Pickenich, and it's his fourth. Pickenich will probably be checking out of the game. We'll see. Kaluko to the line, first free throw, no good. He'll get one more. Luko second, bounces home. 37-21 the score with 3.07 to go here in the third quarter. On it now is Forzani. Entry pass, then kick back out Forzani. A little bit of triangle going on here. Forzani nearly lost it. Entry pass inside, hesitation up, and a foul is going to be called. It's going to go against, uh, looks like they're going to get Kaluko on the foul this time. And so free throws to go here. No, it's Riker. It's his third. First free throw, no good. So Riker's third, and he checks out of the game. One more to come here for Skrinnick, and this is a big opportunity for Elwood Park now. Second free throw, no good as well. Elwood Park has just had trouble hitting their free throws here this evening. Figure Skrinnick, uh, you figure Reichert's going to sit for the rest of the third here. Long three, good. Carson Kaluko's got ten. And the lead is now 40 to 21, the largest lead in the game at 19. It's a 10-1 run for the Panthers. Tie up, that's gonna go out of bounds and it's Pequanic basketball. Back into the game is Jamel Watson, number 23. He checks in for Skrinnick. Pickenich is playing with four fouls here. Drive down the middle, and a foul is going to be called. Watson on the contact, and it'll be Sutherland going. Nope, no foul. None. Non shooting foul. Carter's second. Should be at least. And off the turnover. Here's the race ahead. Asaf 
Eyes are throwing, that's broken up at last touch spot. Oh, what we got here? Discussion. And it'll be Pequonic basketball. Chat between Polo Stephen Peloso and Jim Stockle the third, and in the end, it's Crusader basketball. 150, 150 and count, I should say, third quarter. Sutherland gets the ball back. Long three on the way is good. Now the threes are raining down. 43-21. A 22-point lead for Elmwood for Elmer Park to overcome, I should say. Trying the drive for Zani is blocked inside, but a foul is going to be called. That's what Elmer Park's been doing more of here in this second half. They've been going at the bodies of the Pequonic players. Forzani's earned himself a trip to the line. Tomaskovic has got the foul, his second. Forzani's got nine points on the evening. Make it ten. And he'll have one more to shoot. Second free throw is good as well. Forzani now with 11. 43-23. Hard drive to the front court. Finn Powers all the way to the basket and in. Powers has nine, 45-23, and then quickly at the other end. I'm seeing that's a two-pointer. And on the turnover, pace is picked up. Driving the basket, no good. But a foul is going to be called, and Asaf will go back to the foul line. Foul goes against Rigoloso, his second. Team's fifth foul. And Asaf at the line. He's one for four from the stripe here tonight. First free throw. No good. Crusader struggles at the foul line continue. And the crowd letting him know he's one for five. Make it two for six. Forty-five twenty-six the score. Final forty-five seconds of the third. Up top and a whistle and a traveling call. So another turnover. Crusader basketball with 39.1 seconds to go. Asaf gives on off to Forzani. Gets the call. Asaf top of the key then to the left wing. A soft, long jumper, partially blocked. Now a race out with 17 to go. Corner three, no. Happened. Trying to figure out what happened. Technical foul. Didn't see my it was behind the play. Might have been might have been on Coach Hergy. Free throw good. <clears throat> we'll get one more. We got 13 for Sutherland. Pequonic basketball up by 21. And they're calling for a clear out there was Powers. And nearly turned over, battle along the floor, long three at the buzzer, banks out. 
End of three, 47-26 is the score in favor of Pequonic. Fourth quarter coming up here on Mario Sussex Sports. Back here, Pequonic High School getting ready to start the fourth quarter. 47-26 in favor of Pequonic. The number two seed in this bracket. Pequonic up against the number seven seed, Elwood Park. Winner will take on the winner of Ramsey and Jefferson, a 3 6 matchup going on in Jefferson as we speak. With it now is Forzani. Ball kicked back out. Inside as a foul. And going to the line will be Dwayne Carter. Sixth team foul against the Panthers here. Tomaskovic gets the foul. It's his third and another missed free throw. Carter's just had a, he's had a rough day shooting the basketball today. He's been aggressive. He's got it, the, the basket, but just hasn't had anything fall. Finally gets the free throw to go. His first point of the game, Park putting on the press now and his pass inside and it was partially blocked. Rebound, good job that time by Pickenich to avoid getting it spiked off his leg. The drive the other direction, no good. And then getting the rebound was Riker and it turned over. Tough play inside for a shot that's no good. Battle for the loose ball and it'll be Pequonic basketball. Swung around now with it, the 23 of Carson Kalukia. Three ball in the corner on the wing, I should say, is good for Ethan Sutherland. He's got 16. And the lead's up to 23. 50 to 27, 650 to go in the fourth. Inside, no good. And another run out, long pass. Another corner three. Bounces, no good. And collected on the rebound by Pikinich. Drive and a whistle and a foul is going to be called. Okay. 
Two free throws coming up here. The foul went against Rigoloso, his third. And at the line is David Forzani. He hits the first one. Elmo Park in the bonus, so he'll have one more. Second free throw rattles home as well. Forzani's got 13. It's a 50 to 29 score with 628. And counting here in this fourth quarter. Inside, tough shot, Rankert going for the rebound. If that was Reichert, he'll have six. It's 52-29. That's a three, is off the mark. Rebound collected by Sutherland. Race out, layup is good. Kaluko has got 12, timeout, Elman Park. Six oh two to go, fourth quarter. Fifty four twenty nine. It was thirty to twenty. Elma Park was crawling back into it. And then Pequanic ratcheted up the defense again. An extended run of 24 9. Has pretty much put this game in the difficult category right now. So now Forzani into the front court. Turn pass, Forzani drives the lane, scoop to the hoop, yes, and one. He's got 15 now. Eighth foul against the Panthers. As that one went against uh, Carson Coluco, his burst. And now Forzani for the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Gets it. He's got 16 points. That's a turnover here is Elmwood Park front court drive. Reverse no good. Rebound laid back up and in. First field goal for Dwayne Carter. And it's now 54-34. Nice entry pass down low. The rebound blocked. They're going to call goaltending. So two more for Kaluko, who's got 14. The, pre the predictable you can't do that chance coming up. By the way, a shout out to Brandon Gould. Uh, to not Brandon, that's a three out of the wing there by a Asaf. Asaf's got 15 now. Fifty-six thirty-seven, and we get a timeout. Elwin Park, a full timeout. We'll take it with them here. Amari Sussex Sports.
back here at Pequannock High School. It's a 19 point deficit for the Crusaders. That Pequannock Golden Panthers team, 5 12 away from advancing. And there you can see the big thing the first quarter for Pequannock and then the third quarter. After it got to 30 to 20, they went on an extended run. They closed out the quarter on a 15 to 6 mark, extended it to 24 to 9 into the fourth. And now the lead is at 19. Finn Powers. Here's the give. Triple drive, spin by the lane, and then a kick out by Ringoloso. Three ball from the corner is good. Ethan Sutherland's got 19. Three three-pointers for him, 59-37. Drive to lean. That's going to be a foul. And nearly dropping it home is Dwayne Carter. Crowd calling for Jaden Paulino to come off the bench. Foul, by the way, went against Coluco. Free throw, no good. Either one of them, and it's going to go to Pequannock here. Again, the big thing that just, Alma Park has had trouble just hitting anything today. The winner in this game will get Jefferson, who took down Mawa 49-29 in round two. There's an entry pass inside. Nope. And a foul is going to be called. It's going to go against Pikinich, and that's his fifth. And Pikinich is fouled out. Finishes with four points. Oops, I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's the girls' team that won. As the first free throw is good. The, the girls team for Jefferson won. Riker hits the first. Second one rattles out. Well, the game is not over yet. Drive, spin, kick out, corner three. Good. Finn Powers has got 12. It's 63-37. That's a three at the other end is no good. 3.55 and counting, fourth quarter. Long pass inside the dam, home. Ben Riker throws it down. 65-37. And something was called, uh, a little bit of moisture on the court. A 9-0 run for Pequannock. Mopping things up over there. 9-0 run. And what's just been a 18-11 you know, quarter. And it's, it's been all Pequannock. After Elwood Park cut the lead to 10 at 30-20, to Pequannock just has gone bonkers since outscoring the Crusaders 35 to 17 in that span. About midway through the third. There's a drive and a rejection again. Long outlet pass and the layup and in for Sutherland. And now massive substitutions for Pequannock. Timeout called with 3.24 to go here in the fourth. 67-37. 
think the Quanah called that timeout. I believe. Either way. And there's the usual chant you hear in high school athletics these days, no matter the sport. Into the front court with this is Samasov. Gives to the right wing side. Drive the lane. Tough shot that time by Forzani. Missed. And here's a race out the other direction. Andrew Rivera to the drive. No good. It's blocked. Was, uh, check that. Owen Smith, number one. In and out the other. And we got a foul. So two free throws to come here with 3.03 to go in the fourth. The CELO Group is thrilled to support the Quantic Golden Panthers tonight. CELO Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. Learn more at celogroup.com. Also, if you like this game, click like down below and then click subscribe and the notification bell if you really like it so you're alerted every time Mars Sussex Sports goes live on the YouTube channel. Also, now's the time to reserve Mars Sussex Sports to broadcast your favorite team in the Mars Sussex Sports way. Play-by-play -play commentary, graphics, re instant replay, the whole nine yards. As one is made by a Asaf, 67-38. So if you want us to come out and broadcast your team, Elmo Park, we, we're not just Mars Sussex Sports. We, we go all over the place, too, as that's deflected out of bounds. So Helmut Park Memorial High School, if you want us to come out and broadcast your games, reach out to George Muha, George at MarsSussexSports.com for all the details so we can broadcast your team on Mars Sussex Sports. Drive, deflected around a little bit. Still a battle for the ball. Oh, that's a discard. There are no fouls given, so it'll be Crusader basketball with 2.40 to go in the fourth. And there's some shouting going on by the student section. Trying to figure out what for. But the Pequannock students are in full throat here tonight, up by 29. Then the turnover, race out, the layup and in for Aiden Powers. 69-38 to 12 to go in the fourth. Jeremiah Silvestri, number 13, into the game as everybody's cleared the benches now. Drive Silvestri, and then there's a foul on the play. And Silvestri will go to the line, I would believe, because it's double bonus. Yep, double bonus, so. Two shots for Silvestri. Foul goes against Tomaskovic. And the serenade begins. First free throw rattles out. One more to come. One more free throw coming up here for Silvestri. That off the side of the rim. And now on up. Andrew Rivera wearing the double zero. And then that inside a little bit too far. Owen Smith is in there. Aiden Powers is in there. Kyle Tomaskovic, the younger brother of Dylan, is in the game as well. As is Jaden Paulino, number 11. And then a foul, a ball out, I should say. Foul. Oh, substitution coming in. Gavin Fazekas, number 24, is in the game. On the Elma Park side, Ryan Solano, number 24, is in. 
Michael Hanzo, number four. Dribble from a Hanzo and gives on out. The number 11 is Dylan Hanzo. That shot too strong. Rebound collected by Michael Hanzo. Drives the lane. That's rejected. And a race out the other way by Powers. Pulls it back out with 120 to go. Inside, setting up post Paulino. Up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it in. Jane and Paulino with a pair of points off the bench. 71-38. Last minute of this one. Hanzo, Michael Hanzo that is. Kicked into the corner. That three's blocked from Dylan Hanzo. Actually might have gone in, uh, gone off. Uh, no, it'll still be Crusader basketball. Smith checks out. Rivera checks back in. And they're now saying, somebody said something a little bit too much or did something, so security will be letting them out. Fifty-two point seven seconds to go. We'll take a. Well, no, we're not going to go anywhere. Everybody's waiting to get back into play here. But we will take a look down there, see what's going on. And they're clearing out a whole section. So uh, we just got to pause here while everybody else is heading on out. Elmwood Park season will finish at 17 and 8. A good season, first season under head coach Stephen Hergett. Had his team play hard all the way through. Well, somebody's saying something over there. So, see more going on over there. In the, Everybody's, everybody's calming down right now. Right now, Sly Robinson having a chat with Stephen Hergett. Somebody said something that got the Elmer Park bench rather upset. Now there's an argument going on here near us, but hopefully we continue to play on. So, all right, everything's settled down, and we'll look like we'll get back to playing basketball. With the ball now is Sylvester. Long three, no good. And now Pequonic's got the rebound. And the students with the applause going on right here. Paulino. And they're just going to dribble it out. Everybody stands here in Pequonic. Their Golden Panthers, the number two seed, will move on. Well, trying to go for the steal and then getting the steal here. Oh, Park not... Not wanting to slow it down, a long three, way off. Pulled back, Hanzo, that three, also off. And now, chase down, one more chance maybe for the Crusaders. Jumper is gonna be good at the buzzer for Jeremiah Silvestri, but that closes the scoring out. 71-39. the final. We'll take a timeout, come back to wrap it up here on Mario Sussex Sports.
back here at Pequonic. 71-41 the final, and Pequonic, the two seed, moves on in the North 1 Group 2 State Tournament. Excellent job by Pequonic tonight. Elwood Park fought all the way through to the end and just overcome by an excellent Pequonic squad here tonight. Uh, Carson Kaluka had 14 points. Player of the game, Ethan Sutherland, the Silo Group player of the game tonight. Ethan Sutherland gets 21 points for the Golden Panthers to get the win there. Silo Group thrilled to support the Pequonic Golden Panthers tonight. Silo Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. Learn more at silogroup.com. Sutherland with 21. Kaluka had 14. 10 points for Rigoloso, uh, uh, 12 points, I should say, for Finn Powers, 9 for Ben Riker. They just Everybody was getting in the act, and the defense was tenacious tonight. At the other end, David Forzani finishes with 16 points on the evening, as does Osama Saf, uh, but they just couldn't get the other scorers going. Dwayne Carter, only 3 points. He had a tough night from the floor. Uh, Alex Pikinich had 4 points. Uh, he also struggled from the floor uh, before fouling out. And Jeremiah Silvestri, the last points of the evening for Elwin Park uh, in this one, which goes to the Golden Panthers by a final score of 71 to 41 over the Elwin Park uh, Crusaders here tonight. And again, they advanced around the, to the semifinal round. The, See, we're waiting for a final score on that one if they're going to get either uh, Jefferson or Ramsey in the semifinals, which will be on Friday night. But we want to thank you for tuning into this presentation of New Jersey High School Basketball and the NJSIA Playoffs on Mars Sussex Sports. Uh, we had a good one here tonight. Jack Alvarez, our producer. Grace Scanlon, our camera operator tonight. My name is Brett Luthner. 71-41, Pequonic moves on in the tournament. Until then, until next time, good night from Pequonic High School. And controlled by the Panthers. Front court race through the lane and good for the number 10 of Finn Powers. Timeout, Elmwood Park. Acted again by Riker. There's a race out the other way. Corner three is good. Finn Powers has got five. It's an eight order. Trying to get through, kick out, and then Spinnick just pulls it down. Jumper, banks home. And finally, the rebound battled for. Good job that time by Spinnick to try to win it. Instead, it goes over. Tomaskovic won it, and then the layup at the other end by Powers. 16. Well, that's, a, that's a new chant going on there. Drive, nice dish off down low and the layup for Pikinic. And that's going to get it turned over, but a good job by Forzani to regain. Cross court pass intercepted. Here's a long outlet down and a good job defensively, but the rebound put back home by Rigoloso. Step back, then drives again. Active hands, the layup, no good. Everybody battles for the rebound. Tipped right back to Regaloso, lays it in. Aggressive defense that time by Skrinnick. Skrinnick has the ability to at least neutralize offensively Ben Riker. That's home. A three ball for Sutherland to the rim. No good. And picked up there for the put back. Another one no good. Still battled for. Crusaders, a soft for three. Got it. Figure, gonna, uh, you figure Reichert's going to sit for the rest of the third here. Long three. Good. Carson. And it's Crusader basketball. 150, 150 in count, I should say, third quarter. Sutherland. Gets the ball back, long three on the way, is good. Now the threes are raining down. With 11, 43-23. Hard drive to the front court, Finn Powers all the way to the basket and in. Ball 
swung around now with it, the 23 of Carson Kaluka. Three ball in the corner, and the wing, I should say, is good. Got 13. It's a 50 to 29 score with 628. And counting here in this fourth quarter. Inside, tough shot, Riker going for the rebound. Finn Powers. Here's the give. Triple drive, spin by the lane, and then a kick out by Ringoloso. Three ball from the corner's good. Ethan Sub. Riker hits the first. Second one rattles out. Oh, the game is not over yet. Drive, spin, kick out, corner three. Good. Finn Powers at 63 37. That's a three at the other end, is no good. 355 and counting, fourth quarter. Long pass inside the damn home. Ben. About midway through the third. There's a drive and a rejection again. Long outlet pass and the layup and in for Sutherland. And full throat here tonight. Up by 29. Then the turnover, race out, the layup and in for Aiden Powers. Inside, setting up post, Paulino, up, no good, gets his own rebound, puts it in. 